Hello friends, welcome to Dr. Top Obedience. Today we are going to deal with another short essay question that is dentine bonding agent. Here in this part 1 lecture, we will discuss about its mechanism and its definition. And in the upcoming part 2 lecture, we will deal with the classification of dentine bonding agent. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Okay, moving to the topic. Initially, we have to know what is dentine adhesion. Bonding to enamel is a relatively simple process, but adhesion to dentine presents a much greater challenge. This is because the structural dissimilarities of enamel and dentine. Structurally, dentine consisting of a substantial proportion of water and organic material as compared to the uh, 90% mineral composition of enamel. As we all know that type 1 collagen is the principal organic content of enamel. Dentine is an intrinsically hydrated tissue penetrated by fluid filled dentinal tubule. Dentinal tubule connects the pulp with the dent dentino enamel junction. The constant pressure from the pulp causes the fluid to move towards the DEJ. Cut dentinal surface form a unique structure called as the smear layer of which we have already discussed. The link of which will be provided in the description box. The smear layer will uh, decrease the dentine permeability. The removal of smear layer and smear plug with acidic solution will result in increased flow, fluid flow onto the exposed dentine. The fluid can interfere with adhesion because of the hydrophobic nature of resins even if the resin tags are created. We will discuss about resin tags and detail it in our upcoming lectures. Okay, what is dentine bonding agent? It is defined as a thin layer of resin applied between uh, condition dentine and resin matrix of a composite. Due to acid etching, micro leakage, the loss of retention is not a hazard at the resin enamel interface, but it is encountered at resin dentine interface. Here comes the importance of this agents. Due to difference in the composition of enamel and dentine, Developing agents that will adhere to dentine was a challenging due to following reasons. First of all, high water content interfere with bonding. Next, the presence of smear layer as we discussed earlier. So, the bonding agent should be hydrophilic. But as we all know that most of the restorative resins are hydrophobic. So, the bonding agent should contain both hydrophilic and hydrophobic components. Hydrophilic part bond with either calcium or collagen whereas the hydrophobic part bond with the restorative resin. We will upload the remaining portion of this topic on our next video that is the classification of dentine bonding agent. Please do watch, subscribe our channel, share your knowledge with your friends also. Thanks for watching.